Hi there, this is Manny P. We are looking at the Samsung Aeropia i5500 and the Blackberry um, 9300. You can tell it's a Blackberry 9300 and not the 8520 because of the rim there. So basically this is the phone and it's got a rubber case and it's the casing's knackered on it, but whatever. Um, I got this for BBM Blackberry Services. Let me just put the charger over here. So it, it's this... Which so this is basic a basic Android phone and this is they both got a two megapixel camera they both uh, let me check the video quality of this because I can't remember that's 320 by 240 video quality and if I go to video camera and then go to options it is 320 by 240 so they're both the same picture quality both the same video quality um, so this is an Android phone here full touch screen and it's got menu home back search four-way d-pad with a selection button okay button in the middle answer end lock your end key and your power button is three buttons your end power and lock so you can lock it unlock it um so it's on vibrate at the minute so if we go to settings it's really loud uh, oh my god, it's got a little speaker there, and it is super, super loud! Give it a cricket! Oh yeah, and as you can see, it's got an accelerometer. So, if I just... Oh, I hope you can see it very well. Um, I can't see the screen very well. But, it's just a quick, quick video. So, if I go back, actually. And then press lock. And then... Well... Hang on a minute. Oh, put, put the sound on. Sound is off. So, if I go to that one, unlock it. Then I go to Sandstorm, great tune. So I'm going to do a... S Standard Android player. Samsung haven't put their own player on top of it. So that's the media player. These buttons are not backlit, which is annoying because I wish they were because you can hardly see them. So like all the keys on the BlackBerry, are bl even the back button here and all them are backlit, you can see. But these buttons are not backlit, so it's harder to see it. Um, it's not, it's just, um, I like this phone. Here, yeah, go back. Camera. Um... This is basic, they've got TouchWiz 3.0 on it, but they've got a cut down version of it to fit on the screen. The keyboard I've installed is slightly too big for the screen, and when you're doing texting, you have to do it in landscape mode because it makes the um, little text box really small, because it's only like a 2.8 inch screen. So, it's an okay-ish phone as a basic phone, but um, games are a no-go on this. Angry Birds runs really slow. It's a 600 megahertz process with 200 meg of RAM and 172 megabytes of app storage and up to a 16 gig memory card. The camera, so let's go back to the camera. If I kick it up, do 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 get me all subject on. Um, hang on a minute. There's the camera. Press snap. It's pretty slow at taking pictures, so let's do it again. It's very pixelated, it's pretty slow. The BlackBerry takes faster pictures, so if I go with the BlackBerry, press the convenient key on the side, hell of a lot quicker, and the picture quality, I can't really tell, looks roughly the same on both phones, so... Um, I've got a 4 gig memory card in the Samsung and a 16 gig memory card in the Blackberry. I've been using the Blackberry only for BBM services and that, and it's five for a month. I, I have to pay five or extra just to get BBM services because I pay £15 as it is to get um, unlimited data. So it's, they've both got Wi-Fi, both on on the free network. Um, this one was from California Warehouse, this one's from a friend. So. Um, it's got some nice things, it's got Tetris and um, so yeah, media albums, 
It's just got the standard album. I think that's what got, um, Samsung put on top. So you can see different random stuff. There's a picture of me taken with the phone self shot. So it's a really nice little phone we have here. So I would recommend it if you're after a budget Android phone. If you've never worked with Android and you've never um, experienced a touchscreen, either one of them two or both, then this is the one to get because you've still got your D-pad, which I can still go onto the apps and I can like go on YouTube, select it, and it didn't even use a touchscreen there. Wi-Fi is okay, but it's low signal upstairs. Options, homes, my my YouTube. So what it is is um with this, it, the Galaxy S has touch sensitive buttons and a one home button in the middle, I think. I can't remember. Yes, one home button in the middle. Yes. My mum's nicked my Galaxy S off me and I, and I don't care anymore. She's been a real pain with it and said, Oh, I needed a phone, I needed a phone. And so she nicked my Galaxy S off me. Well, she can have it for all I care because I'll buy my own phones from work. So I've got um, different videos on here. The connection has been lost. Because it will be there because of the low signal, but <laughs> yeah, it's got a full signal. It does have 3G and Wi Fi, BG and M. So it's an okay, it's a um, 2.8 inch TFT compatitive touchscreen. It's got your speaker there. The only problem I don't like with the design of the speaker on the back, because the Blackberry speaker is on the top, so when you put it down, you can hear the sound coming out and still hear the ringing but on the back it sounds muffled so uh, that's a kind of a design that I don't like with them kind of speakers but they are loud because if you put your hand if, if I do that lock if you put your hand on the back it muffles it when you listen to music if you put your hand there it, it doesn't muffle it on the Blackberry sorry I can't really see the screen very well so ho hopefully this should be working out I don't know how well it is um, but yeah and it's got a standard charger, um, but it's got the old 2.2 lock screen, um, the old standard Android lock screen. They haven't put their own lock screen onto this phone, because in the Galaxy S, which I had, they had their own lock screen onto this phone. And so when you lock it, it was like, you get the whole, you slide this whole screen across, not a bar. You don't slide the bar, you slide the whole screen across, and you slide to unlock, and you slide the whole screen across. And it's like you're opening the screen, if you know what I mean. It's like open the screen. Um, if you had a, if I had a Galaxy S, I would show it you. But um, I like the fact you still got the D-pad. But in any of you have seen, the guy said these feel real cramped. Yes, they do feel cramped. Um, and that, but so if I go into now, back a minute, but can I go home? Take me home, boy. There we go. New message. Go to compose. As you can see, composing a message in this kind of format um, really makes us, makes it small and you can't see. So the best thing to do is go into portrait mode, right, and go into portrait mode and you can still see what you're typing, composing. I've got this Android Gingerbread 2.2 keyboard because it's the best, um, because the standard keyboard was high, it was hard should I say, not high, so if I input method, and it's got the swipe. If you go to Samsung keyboard, it was hard. It I don't like it. Hi there. How? Uh, you. I can do it in this mode, but then when it comes to portrait mode, I can't type. And the QWERTY's gone. It, it did. Oh God, the QWERTY bit's gone. It did have settings. Hey up, hey up, the QWERTY keyboard's gone on this bit. Oh, I don't know. So, I'm, I don't really like it. So, if I go back to input method and then turn the gingerbread one on, as you can see, it does fill up the screen a lot more, but it's easier to type. So, the best way to do it is do it in this mode, because you can still see what you're typing. Hi there, how are you? And then, because I've used this on the Galaxy S, which is a bigger, like, 4-inch screen or something like that. So, um... The video res the screen resolution is 320 by 240 really low. I'm looking for the ex uh, question mark. There it is. So it's a nice phone. It's it's fast. 
if you're not doing much multitasking on it. I don't know if you can do multitasking. Yeah, you can. Press, the home, press and hold the home button and you can go to what you've used in apps. So if I click on gallery, and then click on messages, will it go back? Yes, it does. I've not tried multitasking on this phone, but I'm going to discard that now. Back, back. Your message will be discarded, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and the Wi-Fi has now come reconnected. It's such a lovely, lovely video. Um, I, w I can't fault it for what it does. Not a lovely video, I mean a lovely phone. It's got a 3.5mm jack. Um, I think that's a lanyard hook there. Um, I can't see the screen because the screen's not flip out. I need to get a camera with a flip out screen, really. I like this camera, but when I'm doing video reviews like this on a tripod, I can't see the screen because I'm sitting down. So it's got your normal dial pad basically and um, Samsung have left this pretty much stock almost all they've done is added their own touch whiz over the top and not and cut it down a hell of a lot so it makes a phone run faster if you turn animations off when when you like click going into different different applications if you turn the animation off it makes it run faster if you turn the brightness down it makes it run faster and you've still got this bar here which I love, saves, you don't always have to go into there. So, you've got, um, turn your GPS off, turn your Bluetooth off when you're not using it to save battery life. Because I don't know what battery life is like on this, because this is an old phone, but I don't know if you can delete home screens. Um, I've been trying to figure out how to d delete home screens. It's not multi-touch, so you can't pinch it to zoom to, to zoom out doesn't work to zoom out to see all your home screens because like on the Galaxy S you could pinch to zoom to, to see all your different home screens and you could delete different home screens but um add I don't want to add I don't know uh, notifications what does that do oh it brings up that I'm just um not, not used Android in a long time settings here's just your basic settings here SD card and whatever you, tells you what you got available and um I've got 50 3.29 megabytes left out of 172 because I've been downloading apps. The internal phone storage is only for apps only. So if I go down to about phone and you get your model number and if I go to battery use, uh, nope, I want battery usage and it tells you all the different. Mm. It, it, it does sometimes go a bit slow. It sometimes goes a bit slow and doesn't work. Why is it not? Oh, that's not coming up for some reason. I don't know. Um, status? No. No, 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 no. God. I'm going to have to cover that up. So, Android version 2.2. Um, Froyo. So, Froyo yogurt or something. Um, yeah. So, really nice phone. This is it. It's got a search feature so I can type in... Samsung Galaxy Europa specifications. And, ooh, it's done it right. Ooh, it's done it right. So now it's going to do a Google search. So I can go into gsmarena.com. Click on that, you mother trucker. Without swearing. And because of the low Wi-Fi signal, it will go really slow. The, the microphone here is right in the middle. So, there's just all your specs about it and that, and it's a lovely phone. Um, I'm not liking it, at, well, I love it, but I don't love it because I'm, I am like the bigger screen and the better, faster specs, so I'm a tech geek, and I want my phone to be really fast, but for the basic phone, it'll do for now until I can afford to get a better phone. I'm thinking of changing my BlackBerry back to the Android because I like BlackBerry, but I'm bored of BBM. And the BlackBerry operating system sucks because it's very basic and the apps are crap. Um, hey, uh, I only got it for BBM to try out the keyboard. The keyboard on this version of BlackBerry is crap. Wow, it didn't even send. Can I do a resend all? Um, it, it did not send for some reason. I don't know if I can re resend yet. There you go. Try and resend it anyway. The, I've, I've ain't got a connection. My phone's playing up. What I'm going to have to do is with this BlackBerry is restart the phone. 
Uh, I've got sellotape on the bottom of the Blackberry because of the stupid things broke and it's crap phone and um, I might just eventually sell it on to um, and buy a phone and get some money back. Um, I don't care if they don't give me the full amount they offered. Um, I just want some money back to to save up towards me bike insurance or another phone or something. Because don't forget, I have a scooter, scooter, scooter boy. So just restarted the phone. The good thing I love about the BlackBerry is the flashing light to tell you've got a notification. Because when your phone's got a black screen and it's locked and you're not looking at it and you can't see the screen, um, it's good to have the um, little light. The good thing about the light on this on the BlackBerry is you can get an app that changes the colour, so you can have a different colour for different people. Um, so when they message you, you know who it is, and or you can have different colours for different apps and what have you. You can set it on multicolored. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video review. Don't know how long it's been. Oh, sorry, it's been a really long review. It's just going in depth in in depth into each phone, just showing you how they work and giving you an insight. The browser is okay, it's a standard browser. Um, it's not got flash. It's got a light version of flash, so some things on the website can work, but flash games on your phone don't work. More heavy flash stuff don't work, but it's got, it don't have proper flash. Um, so yeah, that's really it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to know anything about any of these phones, then let me know. Uh, send me a quest um, question, comment, and um, I'm sure I'll be glad to help you. So thank you for watching, and peace out.